So by now, you already know that Google Gemini 3.0 is out and it can do some really impressive things. And over the next couple of days, I'm going to be releasing videos breaking down all of its new features. But in today's video specifically, I want to show you a unique use case that I've not seen anyone else on the internet talking about. And that's the fact that Gemini 3.0 can actually identify trends especially in the world of digital products. Not only can it show you these different trends, but it can assist you if you're thinking about creating your own digital product, whether you're thinking about building it for yourself, whether you're thinking about building it to give to someone else, or maybe you're thinking about developing a product to potentially sell. These are gonna be some of the most interesting ways that you can use the new Gemini 3.0. So as you can see right now, I'm on Gemini. And if you wanna be able to find it, if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, you can just go over to gemini.google.com. And I've been using this for the past couple of days, maybe the past week. And I'll say that the main difference between the 2.5 version and this one is the fact that it's a lot more quicker, it's a lot more accurate, and you're gonna be able to use it in a number of different ways. But of course, in today's video, we're gonna be focusing specifically on a digital product. Now, for those of you wondering, when it comes to the 3.0 version, you don't need to pay for it. You're gonna be able to use it. Now, there is gonna be some limitations in terms of the amount of prompts that you can enter, and that's gonna be limited to a certain amount every single day. So just be mindful of this because you don't wanna enter useless prompts for you to get useless answers, for you to have to wait until the very next day. Now, when it comes to using 3.0, what you need to do is click into this option where it says choose your model. And this is the one that I'm gonna be using in today's video that says thinking with 3 Pro. As you can see right there, this is the one that is gonna be able to think through complex topics. So just select that for you to get the best possible answer. And when it comes to upgrading, let me just show you the price. I'm just gonna click into upgrade in the top right hand corner. So I'm logged into my UK account, but we can see right here that the price for two months is gonna be nine pounds and 49 pence. And after that, it's gonna be around 19 pounds every single month. Now, again, you don't need to pay anything when it comes to using Gemini, you're gonna be able to use it for completely free. And even though it does have certain limits, it's still a powerful tool if you're able to know how to use it right. And bear in mind that if you did wanna upgrade, it's not just going to upgrade Google Gemini, it's gonna to upgrade to all of these different things when it comes to Nano Banana Pro, as well as VO3 and everything else you can see on the screen. But I'm not gonna bore you with that today. Let's just jump straight into how Gemini is able to identify trends when it comes to the world of digital products. So the prompt that I'm going to enter, just to kind of give you an insight into how this works, is going to be this one over here that says, what is the most highly searched for trending product for the next year according to Google Trends data? And I've also put there in brackets, I want it to be simple for a beginner to make. Now, moving into the following year, digital products is something that I'm really interested in. You know, I use them myself, other people around me use them. And it's something that I believe, you know, more and more people are going to use as we go into 2026, 2027 and beyond. And especially in the world that we're living in right now with artificial intelligence, there's so many different ways that we can implement AI when it comes to just helping us with the general process. But what I'm gonna do is just click on submit. Let's see exactly what it's able to come back with. Okay, so right there, we can see that it's currently thinking, it's exploring all of the different digital product trends, it's analyzing everything, and it's gonna take maybe a minute for it to come back with the best, most efficient answer. And right here, as you guys can see, this is what it came back with. So it's letting me know that one of the most beginner-friendly digital products out there that people are interested in is going to be digital planners and organization templates. And the good thing about Gemini is that it comes back with the reason why it's saying this, you know, it's letting me know that people are increasingly searching for highly specific ways to organize their lives and they wanna be able to do it digitally rather than doing it on paper. It's also letting me know that it's perfect for beginners because it doesn't require any coding. You can use tools like Canva, you can use some other ones, you create it once and you're gonna be able to continuously keep giving it out far into the future. It's got a high perceived value as well. And it's also come back with three specific high volume niches that's going to do well in the following year. Now we can see over here that one of the niches that it came back with is some sort of budgeting spreadsheet. So what I wanna do is just go over to Google Trends. And as we can see on Google Trends, I've just typed in budget planner and over the past five years, we can see that people have consistently searched for this keyword, but we can also see that there's specific times of the year where more and more people search for it. And that's always going to be between December to January, as well as February. 
And this is something that's consistently happening. And of course, we're in a position where it's most likely going to happen again. And that brings me on to one of the benefits of being able to use tools like Gemini, which is the fact that it's directly connected to Google search data. And because Google is the biggest website in the entire world, it's the biggest search engine. This is something that I say all the time. We're going to be able to figure out exactly what people are searching for so that we can understand where the trends are going. And we can, of course, use that data to help us out in whatever way that we want. But things don't just end there because with Gemini 3.0, you can also use it when it comes to actually giving you a design for a digital planner. Now, it did tell me that I can use something like Canva. And I'm not saying that Canva is bad because they've recently also got a brand new AI as well. So as you can see, this is Canva's AI tool and I'm logged into my account. I'm not sure if they charge for it. I'm sure they probably do. You might need the pro account or you might be able to use it for completely free. You need to double check. But if I just come over here to try Canva AI, this is what the interface is going to look like. And in this box, what I'm going to say is I want you to make a budget planner. So of course you can give it more information, more details about what you're trying to make. And it can make a multitude of different types of digital products that you might be thinking about using for yourself or whatever the use case is going to be. But you could just enter a prompt like this and then click on submit. And just like that, as you guys can see, these are the different digital planners that Canva AI has been able to come back with. Now, they're pretty decent, but the only issue with them is the fact that this is the old way of creating a planner in my own personal opinion. People are still making planners like this and they're giving it out. You know, they're making it available for people to check out on their websites. But in my opinion, I would say that it's pretty basic. But if you wanted something simple, quick for you to use, then Canva AI is something you can use. But if I just go back over to Gemini, it's going to be able to show me what a actual planner looks like, if it's going to be interactive and a lot more engaging for the end user. So what I'm going to do is just enter this prompt. And what this says is I want you to give me a prompt to copy and paste into Horizon so that it can make a let me just enter the name of the digital planner with the brand name let me just put a random one let's put plan your future and also make sure that horizons builds the digital product to the highest quality and functionality the reason why i use it is because you can essentially build whatever you want whether it's a web application whether it's some sort of product that you want to use to help you make things a lot more efficient for your personal life for your work or whatever the case is but in today's video this is what i'm going to be using it for so you can Pause the screen right now, check out this prompt. And if you wanted me to link it down below, just leave a comment and I'll make sure that it's pinned in the description. But for the most part, this is what I'm going to enter and I'm just going to click on submit. All right, guys. So just like that, as you can see, it's already building out the entire code. And what it's about to do is something that Gemini 2.5 couldn't do before. Not only is it going to give me the prompt for me to copy and paste directly into a web application digital product builder, but Gemini 3.0 is also going to give me a prototype of what it's going to look like. And it's something that you can also use if you wanted to use it directly within your Gemini account. All right, perfect. So right here, as you guys can see, it's come back with the prompt that I'm gonna copy and paste into Horizons in a moment. But over here, it's also giving me the interface for me to check out. So if I just click on open, okay, so this is the preview and this is what the landing page is going to look like. This is what the actual digital planner is going to look like as well. So in my opinion, I would say that this is definitely better than the regular ones that you can find on Canva. Of course, it's down to you as to what you want to use, but this is just an example just to kind of give you an insight into how everything works. Because let's say if I wanted to use this as a budget planner, I'm going to be able to come over here and enter an expense. Let me just type in rent just like this. And let's say my rent is around 1000. I'm going to be able to add it as an entry and it's going to work as it should. And that's also going to be deducted of the expenses over here. But yeah, the main reason why I'm showing you this is because this is something that the previous version of Gemini couldn't do. I would say that this is pretty impressive because you can use it for ideation. You can use it for functionality or you could just use it when it comes to just getting a general idea of what you're trying to do with whatever type of digital product you're looking to make. But if you wanted to turn this into more of a serious thing, what you can now do is come back over to Gemini, open up the prompt just like this. 
And I'm gonna show you what I would personally do if I was looking to build out a fully functional digital planner that I can start using straight away. So I'm just gonna get the prompt from Gemini just like this. And then what I'm gonna do is go directly over to Horizons. And again, you're gonna be able to build whatever you want, create beautiful sites, web apps, just by chatting with AI. So this is where Gemini is also gonna be able to help you when it comes to building out various different prompts. So I'm just going to paste the prompt in there just like that. And by the way, if you wanted to check out Horizons, I'm gonna leave all the information in my description down below. So I'm just going to enter this prompt and then click on submit. And just like that, Horizons has gone straight to work. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel and maybe you haven't come across this before, basically what this is doing is building out the entire back end of not only the website, but also the digital product as well. The good thing about AI tools like this, you know, Gemini and all of these other ones that I'm showing you is that you don't need to know how to code. You don't need to know how to do most things. All you gotta do is know how to prompt. And if you're able to do that, you're gonna be able to build various different things that you're gonna be able to use in various different ways. And the good thing about this is that it doesn't take too long, probably two to three minutes. So I'm gonna wait for it to be completed. And once it's done, I'm gonna be back ASAP. Okay guys, I'm back and here we go. This is the end product of what it was able to do. Let me just make it full screen. So this right here is the homepage. This right here is the sections on the homepage. Everything you can see, by the way, I didn't need to do this. I was able to build all of this using a simple prompt from Gemini 3.0. So this is what the person that lands on this site is going to see. You know, if they want to, let's say, click on this button over here, they're gonna be able to get a summary of exactly how everything works. And of course, in this section, this is where they're now going to enter their details. But if I just go back over to the homepage, I'm just going to click on admin demo just to kind of show you what the actual digital planner looks like. OK, so here we go. This is it right here. And the way that this works is that it's been able to build out the entire calendar. It's been able to you know, set up all of the formulas so everything is connected. You know, the section over here, the expenses, the balance. So I'm just going to quickly enter something. Let's see how it works. Let's go over to this day over here. I'm just going to click on this day and I'm just going to click on add transaction. I'm just going to type in water bill just like that. I'm going to enter the amount and I'm going to select the category. By the way, I'm just doing this just to make sure that it works and I'm going to click on add expense. Okay, perfect. So as we can see, the expense has now been added accurately let me click on add again come over here to income let me just make sure that i select the right one so i'm just going to put monthly salary let's put five thousand i'm going to select this one click on add income and just like that as you can see it's now been updated so that's the basic premise of how it works and in this video so far you saw me go from not knowing which digital product is trending in terms of what people care about what people are using to eventually being able to figure it out, double checking on Google Trends, figuring out that there are people using it, and then using Gemini to now give me the prompt for me to actually build it myself. And the benefits of using the 3.0 version doesn't end there because if I just jump back onto it, I'm just going to enter this prompt. Let me just close this down. I'm just going to say, can you give me 10 digital planner websites that also use Google SEO to rank in the search results? Because most of you right now are probably thinking, Sam, once I build out the website like you've shown me how to do, how exactly am I going to get people to be aware of it? Now, this can be done in a number of different ways. Of course, you can use content, you can use video content, you can use written content, but you can also use Google SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. And my advice to anyone that's thinking about doing anything similar to what I'm talking about is to always figure out exactly what someone else is doing for them to get traffic and essentially replicate it. So if I just go on to Gemini and click on submit, within a minute or so, it should now come back with all of these different sites. And this is really helpful because again, you can click into each one, see exactly what they're doing, how they structured things, you know, what traffic methods are they using. So we've got this one over here. Let me just check this one out. Okay, so this is the site right here. It looks clean, straight to the point. They've got all of these different digital planners for all of these different platforms, Notion, GoodNotes, Notability, so on and so forth. And they have been able to rank in the Google search results because they have put the right keywords on all of their different product pages. 
And if I just quickly check out another one, let's go into this one over here. OK, so this site, as we can see, once again, they're only focused on primarily selling digital planners and they're doing quite well. And the way that they seem to be getting traffic from Google seems to be with blog articles. By the looks of it, it seems like they're somewhat consistent when it comes to posting a brand new blog article every single week. Sometimes it's once a month, sometimes it's a couple of times a month. But the point is they are trying to capitalize from Google SEO by posting these different blog articles that have various different keywords in it. And the point of why I'm showing you this is because I want you guys to understand that when it comes to using Google Gemini, you can use it as a source of information when it comes to pointing you in the right direction of what's working and what's not working. Of course, there's some other more advanced ways that you can use it. And I've got another video coming out real soon. I've actually got a couple different videos already filmed, edited and scheduled for release. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss those videos. If you like this type of content, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, well, in this video, I'm going to be able to spend a little bit more time breaking down a lot of the key things that I've personally learned. When it comes to the world of digital products, you're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it's also going to help you out as well. But as always, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.